Martinez could be in some trouble there. Yeah, he, he could be. When, when you see the replay, it's, it's the follow through. Wow, that's wow. why he got, it wasn't for delay. Alex said, what are, you, what are we doing here? Welcome to Instant Replay presented by Cheese it Andrew Weeby, Charlie Davies, and we teased you with a pump fake and an opposing coach, so let's do it. All right, I don't use this word lightly, folks, but Ryan Hollingshead tried to punk Gio Savarese on the sideline with this fake throw. The Timbers coach didn't even flinch, Charlie, but we had some eagle-eyed viewers, Joel and Hutchinson among them, who saw this and wanted a red card. And I would think it would be under violent conduct, attempting to strike. One, have you ever done this? Two, do you think this should have been a red card? I've never done this. As much as I may have wanted to, I've never done it. And two... Gio Savarese did not flinch. I love the fact that he took that stone cold Steve Austin style. Ryan Hong said, that's disrespectful. It's not a red card, it's a yellow card, and move on. I'm with you, Charlie. It cannot be attempting to strike if Gio doesn't even move. He knows that's not coming. There's no attempt there. Good on Alan Kelly, the referee, for handling a strange situation there. Let's go now to Philly NYCFC. Ismail Elfath has this game, and Jose Martinez has an axe to grind with Tati Castellanos. Elfath missed this on first view, Charlie, but via Guido Gonzalez Jr. called him to the monitor, and boy, what he saw is a clear-cut case of violent conduct. This is red all day, every day. Jose Martinez, have you lost your mind? Come on, man. Red card, hit the showers. I would be shocked if there wasn't a suspension coming after this one. That is just not right. Let's see another potential violent conduct from Vancouver, Colorado, Charlie. 26 minute, Lucas Cavallini's running downfield, chasing a long ball, and ooh, referee Baltimore Toledo says no red on this one after maybe two punches to the head, Charlie? Baltimore Toledo gives no red on the first call, but Alan Chapman calls him to the board. The call stays as it is on the field. What do you think? It's the right call. Yes, it's a little harsh. It's a little physical, but that's the game. Not enough in it for a red card. I always look for the glance, Charlie. As you watch Cavallini come downfield, he's not looking ahead of him until the very last minute when his arm swings, he turns forward. Yes, there's a little bit rough here, a little bit extra, but I'm with you. I don't think this is violent conduct. I think Cavallini just ran into him and he's reacting to the contact. He's surprised, his arms go out. It's not violent conduct. Same game, another big call for Baldomero Toledo and VAR Allen Chapman. 80th minute, Kyle Alexandre. Look at him in the left corner of your screen here with Kellen Acosta. He is going down. And I understand why Toledo is pointing to the spot. That looks like Kellen Acosta grabbed with two arms and pulled Alexandre to the ground. But how things appear are not always how they are. Alan Chapman gets in Toledo's ear and says, yep, go to the monitor. Toledo comes back and waves this thing off. No PK, I was wrong the first time, he says. And I admire that in Baldomero because that was a difficult call. It was understandable that he saw it a different way live. And on replay, you can see Alexandre grab with his two arms, grip Kellen Acosta, and go down real easy. He just lets his legs go. This is not a foul by Acosta. This is Alexandre looking for a PK late in a match. I understand that. I understand why Toledo called it one way, and I understand why they reversed it. Good call. 69th minute, Walker Zimmerman chasing, chasing, pulling. Oh. In the moment, Inter-Miami certainly wanted that to be a red card. But after the game, Phil Neville says, oh, wait, actually, he is with Rosendo Mendoza. This is not dog so. What do you think? At first, I thought clear red card. And if I'm in that situation, I better see a red card coming out of the pocket. But when you see on the replay, the defender is close enough to not make it a dog so situation. I agree. I see Dave Romney here recovering. But more importantly, I don't see the foul and the true contact that takes down Robbie Robinson until Romney is within range to recover. So I think this is the correct call, a difficult one as well. So many things happening. It's like a car wreck. Rosina Mendoza, good job, man. Here's one you saw live, Charlie. Tejan Buchanan on the edge of the box. This is knee-to-knee -knee contact. And initially, it's ruled outside. And here's how you reacted to that call. He got it right. Yep. Wonderful job by Chris Penso there. Oh, but wait, there's the VAR signal from Chris Penso. He's going to the monitor and he's calling that a PK. And things change just a little bit, don't they, Charlie, when you have all the angles? They do. What I saw was the first contact that the defender made on Tejan Buchanan, which was on the foot. But it was the second contact right there, the thigh, the knee area, that brought Tejan down in the box. And through this angle, which I didn't have at the time, you can clearly see 
that Tejon is in the box. The right call. Job well done by this crew. That's a shout out to Vieira, Soren Stoika, and Pinso as well. All right, how about this one? A really close offside call in that LAFC Houston game, 55th minute. Corey Baird scores the goal, but when you're looking down this line right here, Charlie, that's really, really hard. My bare eye says, ooh, possibly offside, but I'm also thinking there is clear distortion in this camera lens. What was your first reaction, and what do you make of Robert Sabiga and VAR Daniel Radford's decision to let this goal stand? At first, clearly, I thought it was off just by a half a step. But we've been there, done that. We've gone down this path before, and the angles can play tricks with our eyes. I think they got this call right. Charlie, you said the camera can play tricks on your eyes, and here's the trick, man. Let's draw that line. Yeah, right there. You could maybe say he's a tad offside, but you can't say it's clear and obvious, and that's where I come from when I say, if you gotta draw the line to know, it's not clear and obvious, so go with what was called on the field. Good goal, in my opinion. All right, we finish it here. Alan Polito and Sporting KC fans wanted a possible red card. That boot is high to the face in the loss to RSL. You think there's any serious foul play there, Charlie, or is Polito maybe asking for one? I do not think there's any serious foul play. And the foot comes high, but he still plays on and still goes for the goal. And then after it doesn't hit the back of the net, you see him trying to point to his face, but I don't see anything. There is not enough in it for me to even warrant a yellow card. All right, that's it for us. If you see something, say something. Here's our Twitter handles. Get at us or producer Rich. Big thanks to editor Phil Ivanko for making us look good on this one. We'll see you next time.